is just feminist new age garbage along with the toxic masculinity along with everything else they teach it's a complete lie it's not true and what's actually sad when i argue these points with women what's actually sad is that you want to be that way if you were a good woman with a good heart and a good soul and a good view of the world you wouldn't want to to cheat you know what happens when a woman truly loves a man when a woman truly loves a man, every other man on earth becomes Invisible. instantly unattractive. Facts. And especially when you look at something like nice, right? Because you can be nice to women. I'm not saying don't be nice. Mm. The idea of being nice in and of itself has no value because nice is something which is intangible. Nice is something that can be fabricated, right? Mm. You or I can go out there and be nice. We can be nice to people we don't like. Yeah. Anybody can be nice. It's just cap. It's just cap. But what's your take on it? I think men and women show... Uh, yeah. Uh, they show it absolutely different ways. They yeah. show it absolutely different ways. I completely agree with you. But there's also another argument. So yeah. that's one argument. There's another argument I use. And that's a biological evolutionary perspective argument, right? Mm. So you have to look at... You always, when you look at people, you have to look at people from a societal perspective and from an evolutionary biological perspective. We are animals. Mm -hmm. So we've evolved a certain way as animals and then society's come along given us certain rules on top, right? Like monogamy is a societal rule. Yes. It's not natural for... for Keep things, keep things stable. Keep things stable, right? So in chess, you look at every move from a risk reward. The risk reward on marriage is absolutely detrimental to men. I understand men do it because women nag for it. And that's the only reason men do it. You don't enjoy the day. You don't want to do the planning. For the longest period of human history, women were virgins until they were married. Yes. Virginity was absolutely and utterly important. And this is all linked to paternity. Just because now we have the pill and we have DNA tests, that doesn't mean you should act in a way in which you would not be instantly sure on the paternity of a pregnancy. Technology has not changed the instinct. Technology has not changed the instinct and the biological yep. evolutionary hardwiring of humanity. Facts. In which, but I get it. The woman really wants to be married, blah, blah, blah. I get it. I think that marriage is one of the tools that the Western world uses to enslave men. I think that when I refuse to get married, it's not because I don't love a female and can't love a female. It's things because I hate governments. And I'll sit there and say, look, I love you with all my heart. That does not remove your responsibility as a woman to be able to ensure the paternity of an offspring based on your sexual habits. Mm. The difference between me and you is if I'm fucking a whole bunch of women, yeah, I know they're my kids. Fine, <laughs> right? I know what I'm doing. I know they're my kids, right? Yep. But a man having sex with multiple women is not nearly as disgusting or degrading as a woman having sex with multiple men. Yep. It's not the same thing. Pretending it's the same thing is a complete lie. Yep. It's a lie on every single level. One is the paternal as one is the paternal aspect. And two, when you look at the paternal aspect, you also have to look at the evolutionary wiring that females have to coupling. You talk about the emotionality. If we break up, can't we just break up amic amicably? I'll give you some money for the kid, whatever. You still like me, I still like you. Why do we need a divorce? Why do we need lawyers? Why do we need to make lawyers rich? Yeah. Women naturally emotionally get coupled or emotionally linked to a person they have sex with because if they get pregnant by that person, that person is responsible for keeping them alive. Facts. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you got pregnant in the olden days and the man abandoned you, you would die. Yep. You're on the street with nothing. You're gonna literally die. So it's important that you get that man and you hold and keep that man. They have an evolutionary biology that's gonna make sure that if they have sex with somebody, there's something about them which is attached to that you person. Must bring back so if there's no, scar if there's no scarcity attached, how can I have a value? Something like status is very hard to fake, right? Something like that Lambo is very hard to fake. Mm. Something like all these things are very hard to fake, but nice can be faked. And in fact, most girls will tell you the guy that started off nice, so we can genuinely be emotionally detached <laughs> yeah because yeah. we are we are biologically designed to be genuinely emotionally yeah. detached in fact there's some math on it have you heard the math about how many men have reproduced since the dawn of human time roughly 40 percent, right right yeah yeah whereas 99 percent of women have reproduced bam me so these women have evolved when you come along talking nice to think ah nice is almost a red flag to a lot of women right mm. because because why would you and let's be honest gentlemen me being a misogynist, right? Let's be honest. That's how a woman loves a man. That's true love. If you're a woman, you're having all these dudes touch you, then you're just loving none of them. You're just yep. running through life being a hoe. And the difference between a man and a woman is I can love my woman with all my heart.